What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. That's a new shirt, y'all. New design. That's a new design, okay? I'm going to release them this weekend. The new Protect Your Energy design. And, and, socks. I got like chocolate on my tongue. So we got new shirts, we also have new socks, and we have new sweatshirts. This says Erica De Niro TV. You can't see it's too. It's too light, but it says Erica De Niro TV. Very small because I don't really like a, you know, I want you to know that this is from me, but this is very small, like a little tag on the back. So not too, you know, too big in your face. This is the message, right? All right. This is a nice sweatshirt, actually. I didn't know if I liked it at first. These are just samples, right? So I didn't know if I liked it at first because of the way that the bottom was <clears throat> see the way the bottom is i was like it kind of looks really big but when i put it on it was actually actually fit really really well so that's it so all colors y'all except for white right and then we have new t-shirts and socks so the other design will be available as well but this is the 2022 design i'm ready to pull up on you baby what you want to do Shoot your shot because I'm bulletproof. Hey, load it up and do, do, do. Hey, baby, what you want to do? Do, do, do. This type shit have you wildin'. Mm, last minute trips to the islands. Mm, drip, drip, drip when you slide in. Ah! Okay, so I'll be right back with the rest of the video, y'all. All right. Now, I sponsored the blogs. Is I sponsored the, now yes. I sponsored the Let me tell you something. I'm about to post this video. Just a clip. That clip was funny to me. You know, some of the stuff I'll be doing be really like, no, most of, I mean, F all, you know, I don't have, people don't have a script here. A lot of this shit just be coming from right here. The spirit gets in the deep. Ha! <laughs> Baby. Some of the time, I don't even remember what's, when y'all be in the comments saying stuff, girl, when you said such and such, I was like, I don't even remember saying that. I'm telling you, it don't be me talking. Anyway, so what's going on, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Did y'all catch the commercial? Baby, that old bootleg commercial. Come on, protect your energy. You see it? Okay, those are the new designs. You see, because the other one, the energy was in green. But I wanted to change the design. I just needed the message. That's it. Just, there it is. So you see the, you see the shirt? This is a sweatshirt. Come on, propped it up. Y'all saw how I propped it. Come on, propped it. It's a sweatshirt, but I folded it. I worked at the Gap for a second. Look. <laughs> Baby, there you go. For a hot minute. For a hot second. I worked at the Gap at Atlantic Station for a hot second. When I first moved to Atlanta. It was in like... I did, I, Baby, how long did I stay at the Gap? It had to be like two weeks. I was on to the next, on to the next, on on to the next. Yeah, so the diva did work at the Gap, honey, for a, for a second, for a hot minute, not even long enough to use a damn discount. Now I sponsor the blogs. Now, now I sponsor the blogs. Is I sponsored the it. now yes. I sponsor the blogs. Let block. me tell you something. Come on, bitch. All right, then let's talk about let's talk about what's going on in the blocks. On the blocks. Now, now, now I. The neighborhood talk. Let's see what they got going on. I don't know who that is. 
Uh, huh. Kanye said, Kanye, <laughs> it's first of the first thing that came on Neighborhood Talk. It's a thing of Kanye really don't want North on TikTok, child. It says, since my, this is my first divorce, <laughs> this is my first divorce, I need to know what I should do about my daughter being on TikTok against my will. Well, one thing we could count on is that North has nothing to do with your will. So you probably want to stop that today. <laughs> against your will. Girl, okay. That's your will. You don't have nothing to do with what North is doing on TikTok. <laughs> don't watch. <laughs> Turn TikTok off if you don't want North. You don't want to see North on TikTok. Because your will will not be imparted on kids playing online. It's not She's not doing anything wrong. She's not harming anybody. And hopefully she's being monitored well. Mason already told Kim that about, about uh, North being on TikTok. He already warned her about going live without an adult being present. So... Against your will, child. I don't know what you think. I don't know what you thought this was. The first of all, the only thing that you can do is call TikTok and say um, she's not of age to have this account. But then, then they'll say, well, her mother is on the account with her, so she has parental consent. She's sharing the account with her mother. Because I think you have to be 13 in order to use TikTok, like in in order for you to be able to use it. But if you're on there with your mama. So it's against your will. Sit your ass down somewhere. Because what one thing you're going to have to learn is you don't have control over these people. I really think a lot of people approach parenting as some sort of, this is like an indentured servant or something like that. Like, y'all got to get out of this need to feeling like you control, you have to, you have to control somebody. And because I was thinking about that. I don't remember who was talking and a thought jumped into my brain about how people keep saying my kids can't express themselves until they're 18, until they're 18. And then I think it was Rodney talking about Dolores and her children living with her and how we as a community operate very much American and we kick our children out at 18 years old as if we kick them out. We tell them they can go, they can leave. We don't make, and then they don't want to stay. That's what I was thinking. They don't even want to stay. If you made a way for your children to stay, they don't want to stay because now what they're trying to do is release themselves from your grips of irrational control. And this need to feel like you have to have, like, even, even in talking, like when you live with your parents, your parents feel like they still need to be your parent instead of functioning as an adult and saying, here, I'm an adult and you're allowing me to stay in your home because I am in school or I just started my career and you want to be able to help me get on my feet. But the children don't want to stay because you have imparted your will over them and have not allowed them to express themselves because they're not 18 yet. So they're like stifled, like, okay, I'm going to just do what, what can I, can I lift my left arm up now, mom? Okay. Can I lift my right arm up now, dad? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can I turn my head now? And then as soon as they doing it on their own, y'all don't want to, <laughs> y'all want to throw them out. And then they want to leave. They don't want to stay. They don't want to stay. That we, we would, we would really operate more like, like I said, that idea of individualism is very much an American value set. American values have nothing to do with community. And unfortunately, black people have adopted that and and rightfully, I mean, not, not rightfully so, but it's natural because they're, we're Americans. So we adopted American value system and American value system is not communal at all. It's nothing about community, nothing. 
nothing. And that's why, and for my theory, when people come over here from different ethnicities and from different places and cultures, and they operate as a community, and therefore their community rises up past the Black Americans, and every all Black Americans are like, how how they how they get past us? How they come here from other countries and get past us? Because they operate as community. They move together they don't have this and do do the parents act like they control the children yes they do but still it's very much we're working together y'all gonna stay here and live you have parents um doctors right just out just out of medical school become but in their residency living with their parents their parents are not telling them oh you got to be home at eight o'clock and if don't come in here at no nine o'clock still trying to have some rules over people adults it's like girl let that shit go have control over you and what you do you so busy trying to control somebody else that you like lose out on the connection like come on like I don't know. It's so weird. So when you think you're going to impart your will over your children, think again. Those are free, sovereign human beings. Allow them to have their own light, their own power, their own fingerprint with your guidance, not control. Come on, y'all. Come on. We haven't learned anything. Y'all don't see over and over again that the way people are parenting is that it's not effective. Are you, what are you trying to do to this person? Your goal is to ensure that this person is able to survive and thrive without you. Not for you to be like, okay, up arm, up arm here, go like this. No, come on, come on. Like literally, shit is crazy to me. Um, Let's see, deadbeat baby daddies get the good baby mamas and the good daddies get the childish ones. Girl, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Ugh. Come on, Zaya Wade and Gucci down to the socks. Baby, she got her Gucci purse. That purse is real cute. That suit is cute. I'm sorry, that suit is cute. But I would love for the G's to be lighter and smaller. Like a little lighter, a little smaller. But that's cute. Go ahead, Zaya. Okay. Who else? Let me go down neighborhood neighborhood talks. A little list here. <gasps> Marlene! Yes, I know that Brandon when I see it, bitch. Shout out to Marlene on Neighborhood Talk. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Marlene. Shout out to Marlene. I'm on Neighborhood Talk. I'm on the blogs and I see an ad. I said, I know that Brandon when I see it, girl. I love it. I love it. The B palette. Shout out to Marlene. All right, Young Miami shares biggest lesson she learned from tweeting hurtful things about Nicki Minaj. Be careful of the things you say and stop trolling. Is that what you learned? <laughs> you didn't learn that in elementary school? <laughs> Girl, y'all so funny to me. Y'all so funny. That's why I don't can't be looking at these. That's one of when I be on the blogs. Oh, God. Natalie, when I tell you Natalie Nunn is so whack to me like girl you are so whack you really look like i like you smoke newports you really look like you do in today's age knowing that it's full of tar and everything else you know it <clears throat> and you doing it okay let me see this stuff on um um no there's actually masks out there in the um linen closet go in the linen closet there's mask in there you love you too Okay, let's see. See, Future's dropping a new song called Worst Day, and Kevin Samuels is featured in the video. Y'all think this stuff is funny. I said, y'all think this stuff is funny. Violent, emotionally abusive, misogynistic men coming together to make low-frequency music. Yikes. Why would, and I was about to say, why would Kevin Samuels be in a video with Future? But I know why. <laughs> but I know why. Because y'all, they share ideologies. That's the only reason why you would want somebody represented in your video unless they shared your views, right? Because you wouldn't have anybody in your videos that didn't share your views, right? 
<clears throat> okay. Okay. Girl, some of these stories on Neighborhood Talk, that's probably why I don't be on here because it'd be so chaotic. Nicki Minaj speaks on Kanye missing out on dropping new body. Yeah, um, let me tell y'all something. Nate still be rapping new body. Uh, he needs to release that new body girl what victoria beckham has reportedly eaten the eating eat, wait a minute wait a minute G victoria beckham has reportedly eaten the same meal every day for the last 25 years a little grilled fr fish and broccoli child i barely want to eat leftovers yet recently during a podcast interview david beckham opens up about dinners in the beckham household he shares that his wife victoria has eaten the same meal every day since he met her almost 25 years ago she eats only grilled fish steamed vegetables and will rarely deviate from that he explains neighbors it's more victoria beckham revealed that she is very much a picky eater she says when making her daily meals no oil butter or any sauce is used Look at that. it sounds like an eating disorder it, so, it sounds like a well structured and she didn't figured out her formula but it sounds like an eating disorder but it sounds like she just figured out the formula and how to do it what she needs to do to maintain whatever it is she got going on and that's what it is that's what it sounds like to me a man who vanished during lunch break in Houston found dead in the trunk of his car hundreds of miles away in Dallas. What? The remains of a 25 year old man reportedly missing in Houston in December were found in the trunk of his own car at an impound lot located in Dallas per reports from authorities. A decaying body was found January 19th at the Dallas impound lot was identified as Taylor Young. Young reportedly was last seen running errands during his lunch break at work. Young was last known to be driving a Honda Civic in the area near Houston Bank on December 9th, 9th and his cell phone was found near an ATM. Maybe he was robbed. Oh my God. On, on ongoing homicide investigation, but he was found 240 miles away yeah he was in dallas from houston yeah houston's far from dallas you know how big texas is oh my god texas is so big y'all girl these stories are so when i tell you i don't know that's that's a lot some of these stories are too too much let me go to another let me know go to another block the neighborhood talk it was too much too much um Jim Jones hasn't spoken to Cameron since Dipset versus Locks battle. Who cares? Um, Joe Rogan clip of podcaster repeated, repeatedly using the N word resurfaces. Joe, this is on the Jasmine brand. Joe Rogan is making headlines once again, this time for an even bigger issue. In the midst of his controversial remarks about COVID-19 vaccine, it looks like Rogan's past is coming back to haunt him. What, what, I want to ask this question. I guess you know i have my personal protest against companies and stuff that i don't support but i don't make a noise about it i don't shout it from the rooftop it's just a personal protest and i don't patronize different companies and things like that because of their whatever they stand for doesn't fall in line with what i stand for so i don't patronize them but i don't go around hollering and screaming about it but you know public figures are is different right Indy Ari asked to have to stop making money for her songs being on Spotify. She wanted all her stuff ripped off of Spotify. Do I have that story right? Because of something Joe Rogan said and because Joe Rogan is hosted by Spotify, she no, no longer wants to do business with Spotify because Joe Rogan has his opinions about this karanya. Is that what she's saying? 
she's saying that she no longer wants to make money from this platform because this platform hosts a man who had an opinion about a vaccination. Was it deeper than that? Am I not? Am I just looking too much on the surface? So you're going to stop your money because of what came out of Joe Rogan's mouth? So that's like I work, like say you work at a job with somebody and another employee has an opinion that doesn't align with yours. You quit your job because the other employee has an opinion that doesn't align with yours. Are you wanting, are you wanting the job to do something about them? And because they're not, you're just going to quit and cut your money off. Is that what we're saying here? I just want to know somebody, please explain to me the India Ari thing and the, in the impact of what she's doing and how that's going to impact her. Maybe she doesn't care. Maybe she's not making that much money off of Spotify. And she's like, fuck it. This is a way that I could like bail out on them, make a scene. I'm not really making any money off them. No way. Maybe that's it. People still, um, running India Ari's music. Um, a compilation video of Joe Rogan saying that the, saying the saying the N word has resurfaced and has the internet buzzing because of this, more people are calling for the artist to be removed to look because of this, more people are calling for artists to remove their music from Spotify for the subscribers to cancel their subscriptions. So, so y'all want to stop making money because one of the employees is saying something that y'all don't like, and y'all want them to do something to the employee. A uh, previously reported various music artists have chosen to boycott Spotify due to the company continued continuing to platform content from Joe Rogan, a podcast host comedian who has repeatedly made false and derogatory claims about C-19. According to the reports in 2019, Spotify allegedly paid $100 million for the exclusive streaming rights to Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Since the recent controversy, they have let listeners know they will be taking steps to inform subscribers about Rogan's C-19 misinformation. While Joe Rogan has apologized calling, calling the dialogue on his podcast, Just Conversations, more of this bad behavior is coming to surface. Did you know that Joe Rogan is married to the woman who had a baby from Dino from H town. Isn't that crazy? So Dino had a baby with his white girl and then in Joe Rogan ended up marrying her. So now Joe Rogan has a biracial stepdaughter. I wonder how she feels about it. I haven't heard the recording. But he's saying he's saying it repeatedly. I would love to hear the context in which he's saying it, Um, you know, and who he's talking to. I want to know who he's talking to, too. That's very interesting. Um, Joe Rogan, I like watching his podcast. I do. I like watching his podcast because the people on his podcast are across the board. He has like all types of people. And I have learned so much from his guests, not even worried about him, which I appreciate because he creates a platform for people who normally their voice wouldn't be heard in typical spaces. So he creates a platform. So these random people telling these stories, you know, their ideas and sharing their ideas, he gives them a platform. And like I said, I've learned so much from Joe Rogan's podcast from his guests. But I know from what I, I'm not making any excuse for the man using the N word. Cause I need first, I, first of all, I have to hear the recording here of context, but I don't think the only time I, the only time literally that I think it's okay is when it's in context, right? Like in, and, and more specifically in an education environment, in an educational environment. Now, would you consider Joe Rogan's podcast? Was he telling a joke? Was I haven't heard the recording. I don't think under 
I don't think in under any circumstance should he be saying it because he's not a teacher. But I feel like if people know how to self-correct, everybody knows how to self-correct and self-edit. Everybody knows how to do it. We're not going to act like we don't. Um, everybody's doing it now on the, on, uh, what is this on, um, on YouTube, everybody is self editing. You've heard me do it several times. We do it all the time. So we have the capacity to do it. I think for some non-black people, they just want to be able to say something that they know they can't say. And the, anytime they have a chance to say it, they want to say it. Now, like I said, no matter the context and who he's talking to, I, and he's not in an educational environment, and we're not talking about something where somebody, you know, like you could say N word. And I think, I think people have a problem. And one thing I do think that we really need to stop doing is policing the use of the word and just applying consequences like applying consequences, like seeing what context it was used because people, you can't keep people from saying a word. You, that's, you just can't. And it's silly to even try to tell people, well, you just, you just take it out of your lexicon. Yes. Eventually some people, you know, words stop being used, but I don't think the N word is ever going to stop being used, especially because of how it's used so much in popular culture, especially because it has, it has crossed, it has literally changed. The meaning has changed again amongst a newer generation where younger generations say it the way that the black community uses it people some people who choose to use it in the black community not everybody in the black community wants to hear it chooses to use it doesn't use it in themselves they don't say it themselves and then there are other people who do and it is so popular that the word is now said as a part of language and it's unfortunate because no other word that is derogatory in whatever group and that group has taken the word and made it their own, that derogatory word is not even used in just language, just like talking, like it's like saying bro, literally. It's, and that is how black folks took the word and use it as a term of endearment and took it and changed the vibration and the meaning of it. So you understand when somebody is saying it, the vibration behind the word, when somebody is saying it, what the intention is coming from. But it's the same thing and people use it. And I think like like the F word amongst the gay community, nobody is just, nobody is just saying, nobody is just saying that like as a, as a way to talk to each other, like the word, the N word is used. So I would like to hear what he was saying. I would like to hear the recording. I'm, I don't understand why the Jasmine brand didn't have the recording here, but maybe it's a copyright thing. I don't know. It says Whoopi Goldberg suspension from the view is unpaid and she will allegedly lose out on $192,000. As previously reported earlier this week, Whoopi Goldberg 66 was suspended from the view for two weeks for claiming that the Holocaust isn't about race. It's not about race. It's about it's not about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. According to the recent reports, Whoopi Goldberg, who makes $5 million per year from The View, was suspended without pay. This means that the EGOT entertainer will reportedly lose out on a $192,000 paycheck during her two-week mandatory hiatus from the popular talk show. And an insider recently spoke to Goldberg's unpaid suspension and said, Whoopi is welcome to return after her unpaid two-week suspension. She took the news well and understood where the network was coming from. Why well, I see real little scrappy, scrappies obvious. They would never do that if she was white. No shit, girl, shut up. No, they actually would. If she was, if she was a, just a white and not a white Jew. <laughs> Her ass would have been off, would be off too. 
honey, they don't play that. When I tell you they don't play, they don't play, they don't play. They don't play. And you see how swiftly they move. You have to, I don't know what it is, how you could get to that place where you're that, like that, that, that is a power structure that it's, it's, it's unmatched. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. It is. I've never seen nothing like it. I've never seen it. It is unmatched. It is unmatched. Whoopi got her wake up call. So it is what it is. And it is funny that her name is Whoopi Goldberg. (laughs) And they let you know, but what she said to me wasn't wrong. It wasn't, it actually wasn't even It wasn't even inaccurate. There was no violence attached to it. There was no ill intent attached to it. She said what that man did was an issue. It wasn't about race. It was a man's issue with humanity. It was, it was an, it was an image and an example of how people groups of people for something made up something that is made up they made up something in order to kill people and it wasn't just Jewish people. That's every yesterday. I just kept saying it wasn't just Jewish people that this, this, he, the target wasn't just Jewish people. It wasn't. He had an issue with everybody that wasn't whatever this crazy idea that he came up with. An idea. He considered us this. So he enacted violence based on his own ideas. And the fact is, he was just an inhumane monster. It had nothing to do with these people's race. He was just a disgusting human being who came up with an idea that was not real and people adopted it because they had the same disgusting black heart as he did. And so they went along with it. God. It's so weird. It's like, yeah, he came up with an idea and like wiped so many people out because of it. And you're trying to argue in order to maintain that what his idea from his idea that it was actually, that's why, that's why, that's why he did it because he had an idea. Yes. But the fact is it didn't have nothing to do with that because his idea wasn't real. It was a fucking Mr. Toad's wild ride fantasy. His idea wasn't real. He wiped out people over something that wasn't real. And that's the problem people have. They don't want to admit that. Because if you then admit that, then you have to say what white people are doing to black people is fucked up because the shit isn't real. And that's it. You need to maintain. It is literally the matrix. We got to maintain these ideas that we know, we know that they're not real, but in order for these structures to stay in place the way they do, we have to agree that this was real. Like he considered y'all a race. What? Girl, a mess. Whoopi, big whoop. She going to do what she want to do, baby. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I would come back to The View because let me tell you something. People watch The View for Whoopi and Joy. And that's it. Whoopi and Joy. Whoop, move Joy over to the moderator. Whoopi needs to go because they really using her. She needs to go and watch them ratings go like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
A lot of people would stop watching if Whoopi wasn't on there because what is happening is y'all want an echo chamber and the view is supposed to have opposing views. People are supposed to have differing views, differing views. Her view wasn't violent. Her view wasn't harmful. Her view wasn't inaccurate. It just didn't align with your cognitive dissonance. Like you guys are really saying, well, he considered us. He considered us. And that's why he wiped us out. No, the fact is he created something and went on an idea. And so he wiped everybody out on that. And had enough people to agree with him in order to give it power. I'm just saying. Girl, I don't give a fuck about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. I really don't. I really don't. Who else has who else got a blog? Oh, the neighborhood, not the neighborhood talk, Hollywood Unlocked. Now I sponsor the blogs. This is the first thing 13 minutes ago. Lamar Odom admits he was hoping. He was hoping my ex-wife would be at the celebrity big brother house. I wanted to see her so bad. Why would she be there? Girl, you haven't seen what's going on with her, honey. Let me tell you. She goes with Tristan Thompson, honey, and she is allowing him to publicly humiliate her over and over and over again, Lamar. You haven't, you don't know where have you been? Why would you think that? Did she tell you that? What would give Lamar the impression that <laughs> Chloe was going to be at the big brother house. You on that stuff again? <laughs> What's going on with Lamar? In the latest episode, Celebr- y'all watching Celebrity Big Brother, the former basketball t- stars talks about his ex-wife, Chloe Kardashian. Girl, I just, I don't even want to, pl- I can't. Girl, I'm not even playing with y'all. I am not playing with y'all. Oh my God, disgusting. Ooh, it says Mark Zuckerberg loses 30 billion after Meta shares plummet. It says Mark Zuckerberg's net worth has dropped after his after he lost 30 billion dollars due to Meta shares plummeting in the market on Thursday. The Meta co-founder has lost his title as one of the 10 richest people on the planet since 2015 at a current net worth of $84.3 billion. According to CNBC, his $29.8 billion loss is the largest single day loss in history months after Elon Musk tweeted about selling his Tesla stake. Um, Meta shares dropped after the company said in a statement that they, <clears throat> that there will there will be weaker web revenue growth within the next quarter and Apple's new privacy change will cost Meta $10 billion. We believe the impact of iOS overall is a headwind in our business in 2022. It's on order. It's on the order of 10 billion. So it's pretty significant headwind in our business. Um, additionally, the shares drop will also be the biggest sale, single day plunge and it also cleaned off 20 billion in capital. Wow. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Okay, let's see. That's a lie. It's fake. It's fake. He's fake. That that thing. I don't believe that. Michael Rappaport got hit with a snowball. I thought it was really funny, but I believe I don't believe that it's real. I don't believe that it's real. It says Atlanta police warn about scammers placing fake parking citation on vehicles. But what's the purpose? What is the purpose? At first glance, the phony tickets are nearly identical to the city's issued violations. They include date, the officer's name, description of the vehicle, details of the violation, instructions on how to pay the citation, including a QR code and a website printed underneath. However, city officials have since shared notes on how to spot differences up close and know when you are being scammed or if it's a real deal. They say state issue tickets will never have a QR code printed on the tickets. This code is how scammers are making money off of vehicle owners. Officials say if owners have questions about the authenticity, authorized tickets will be accessible online at atlplusmobility.com. Baby, people are trying to figure out ways 
to get over on people. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg losing money. Okay. Okay, I think that's it, y'all. Anything else? Ooh. Ugh, you look a mess. Absolutely not true. Oh, girl, don't nobody care who Khloe Kardashian is dating. I don't know. I'm just, this is, okay, let's see what else. Oh, they found the people, four men charged in overdose death of actor Michael K. Williams. New video shows alleged drug deal. Wow, honey, it's cameras everywhere. In 2021, September, we lost the wire, the wire actor, Michael K. Williams. His death was ruled an accidental overdose of fentanyl and other drugs. Four men have now been charged in the actor's death and a new video allegedly shows the drug deal going down. On Wednesday, February 2nd, the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of New York announced that Irving Cartagena, 39, Hector Robles, 57, Luis Cruz, 56, Marcel Massey, and Carlos Massey, there's no age on him, were each charged with conspiracy to distribute and possess an intent, an intent to distribute fentanyl analog, fentanyl and heroin. The charge carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. Cartagena is also being charged with causing the death of the 54-year-old actor and will appear in federal court on Thursday. Um, he is facing a life sentence. A new video has been released via prosecutors alleged, allegedly showing the actor purchasing fentanyl lace heroin from those being charged. And the U.S. Attorney's Office says the four defendants went on to sell drugs throughout Brooklyn and Manhattan following Williams' death, each w which an examiner revealed was due to an acute intoxication by a combined effects of fentanyl, P, floral fentanyl, heroin, and cocaine. Oh, God. Well, at least they found the guys and they were able to trace it back. Because they knew y'all know what's in that stuff. That's crazy to me. How could you do, how could you, how could you sell somebody that you know what, you know what's in it? Like, oh my God. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Nick Cannon, you're weak as hell. Wick, wick, whack. I don't even hear what nothing he got to say. I think that's it, y'all. President Joe Biden announces. Oh, no. Okay. India Ari doubles down, boycotting Spotify, and again blasts Joe Rogan for using the N-word. Okay, let's hear what she has to say. I decided to ask my music be pulled off of Spotify. So check this out. No way, people. It says, okay, take me to this one. And the guy goes, okay, I goes, is that in a good neighborhood? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out, and we're giggling. Ooh, we're going to see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> We walked into Africa, dude. We, we we walked in the door, and there was no white people. It says, okay, take... I empathize with the people who are leaving for the COVID disinformation reasons, and I think that they should. I also think that Joe Rogan has the right to say what he wants to say. I also think that I have the right to say what I want to say. Mm -hmm. So as an artist who builds... Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Hey, y'all, I want to leave a short message here about why. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money. That Didn't I say she must not be Just making money? Yeah, that's what I said. That's where I'm at. And I know that uh, I'm actually... She must not be making money from us. ...that my statements were picked up because I thought... People weren't really going to listen to me because that's what I'm the kind of that's what I'm used to from the industry. But I'm glad that I am being heard, and for that reason, I want to clarify my statements again. This is why. Watch this. Like, you know the nigger thing. Yes, saying the word nigger. Oh, I already said nigger. He is just like nigger. Mm -hmm. Saying nigger. She's calling you a nigger. It's like this boy that he's a nigger and starts calling them niggers. Word nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially like the word nigger. That's our nigger. About niggers. He says nigger. Guy a nigger. And then our niggers start saying nigger. I'll use the word nigger. Out the word nigger. See nigger. Word nigger. Say nigger and he couldn't say nigger. What's nigger? So we know how social media can be. Woo shit, Joe. Just take me off. That's a lie. That, that was a lie. Just take me off. That's where I'm at. 
And I know that uh, I'm actually, to be honest with you, surprised. That's a that lot. My statements were picked up. That's crazy. I, um, people weren't really going to listen to me because that's what I'm the kind of, that's what I'm used to from the industry. I didn't know it was but a I'm, bunch of clips I like that. I thought it was. <laughs> 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 As much as I watch okay. Joe Rogan, this I don't think I've ever heard him this. use the N word. That must be a reason why I ain't seen those the those nigger, videos. The nigger thing. Yeah. Saying the word nigger. Oh, I already said nigger. Uh, he is just like nigger. Mm-hmm. Dang, nigger. She's calling you a nigger. It's like this boy that he's a nigger. Let's start calling them niggers. Or nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially like the word nigger. People are taken out of context. It's happened to me many times. However, I want to be clear. In no uncertain terms, where I stand on this is that he shouldn't even be uttering the word. Don't even say it under any context. Yeah, I don't. Don't okay. say it. Yeah, I, I stand. It's my right to stand there. I have always stood there. I have other feelings about it, but those are nuances that are not meant for the moment. He shouldn't even be saying it. And so the confluence of energies comes into play here. So now we have this person who was offensive to a lot of people who's paid a hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Spotify, the backbone of Spotify is the music. Mm-hmm. So you pay the musicians that are the backbone of your business. 0. 0.003 to 0.005% of a penny. And you take this money that, and you take this money that you generate over here because all the rest of it goes somewhere. People are taken out of context. It's happening. The subscription fees go somewhere. So you take this money that's generated over here and you use it to invest in this guy. Do what you want. But take me off. Or pay me too. Right. I don't just mean me. I mean us. Pay Artists me. like me. Pay us too. Pay podcasters of color too. So Artist Relations from Spotify called me yesterday. And they asked me what I want, and I've been thinking about this all night. I'm not going to say it all here, but what I want to say to you is something that I already knew, but I want you to know that they said it last night. Most of the streams on Spotify are black music, but we know that if if you're paying attention at all, you understand the role of black music in this world. So... The subscription fees go somewhere. That's a deeper nuance. Mm -hmm. There's the musicians. There's the black music. That is the backbone of the whole music industry. That's the backbone of Spotify, too, who are historically underpaid Mm -hmm. and mistreated and all this stuff. Just There's a historical context here that makes all this matter. Mm -hmm. And then there's this guy. I'm glad I found this. You take this money and you pay this guy who says this stuff. No. And so it took Anil Young to open the door for someone like me, but I walked through it because I've been standing at this door for a long time. One of the hashtags I put on my post, the written one was, what if we all leave? And that's what I'm trying to see if we could get to happen. What if we all leave? Then we can start having a conversation. You can go from a conversation to a negotiation. Yeah, know your power. So. Know your power. That's a deeper nuance. Come on, India. I have decided to pull my music and podcast from Spotify. Neil Young opened the door and I must walk through. I believe in freedom of speech. However, I find Joe Rogan problematic for reasons other than COVID interviews. For me, it is also his language around race. What I am talking about is respect. Who gets it and who doesn't? Paying musicians a fraction of a penny and his $100 million. This shows the type of company they are and the company they keep i'm tired so that's what i was saying i said she must not be making any money off of it because 0. 0.000 0.003 to a five percent of a penny is what they're getting on it like you're that's even worse than what they had when there was actual music when they had cds what were they getting the pennies they were getting pennies too it's crazy how people are creative people are just exploited like that. That, that anyways, 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 anyways. That's like that's another conversation. So I completely understand where she's coming from. I didn't know it was nigga, 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 nigga. I thought it was a conversation that he was having. I was like, let me hear the context, baby. That was a real 
<laughs> that was a real Joe. Mm -mm. And I and with her point, I'm so glad I heard this. With her point, her point is that y'all use the money that you make off the musicians to pay these races. But then she also said, if you didn't catch, well, pay me too. If you're going to pay the racist $100 million, you need to pay the musicians who are powering that 100 So is it really about the principle, right, of him saying the word, or do you want to be paid the same? That's that. I kind of caught that. I don't know if anybody else caught that because she was like, well, pay us too. So would you be okay with Joe Rogan saying nigga, 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 if you were getting paid the same amount? And not a fraction of a penny. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Yeah, I agree with her. If I'm not making no money off you, take my shit off your shit. Since you want to you wanna give this other dude $100 million. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now, my analogy. So, my, let's, let's switch up the analogy. So, I'm at work and an employee is saying something that I don't like. Oh, and he going around saying the N-word and y'all paying this motherfucker so much money. You paying me nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all going to pay this man $100 million? I got to go. I'm going to quit. I'm going to pull my stuff. I get it. I understand her now. I'm glad I found it. Shout out to Hollywood Unlocked for posting it. I'm glad I found it. Anyways, y'all, I think that's it for us having a conversation. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. Let me know what you think about all the topics. All right, peace.